Hey guys, welcome back to the Grant Mint Podcast, episode number 80. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to attract the right people in your life. The people that you surround yourself with and communicate with every day is a reflection of who you are as a person. If you want to attract better people, you need to look in the mirror and go, how do I need to recreate and change myself or grow myself to start attracting that right group of people? You have to be conscious of it. And one thing that has helped me so much in learning how to get the right people, whether it's in my companies, whether it's in my friend groups, is by first being the person that I want to attract. I know that sounds cliche, but if you go look at, let's say, five different people who have built super successful businesses, have incredible families, do you think that they're going to want to spend time with someone that is lazy that doesn't invest in themselves, that's not doing anything in life and isn't really adding any value and is just negative all the time? Of course not. Will they be nice to you? Probably so, but then that's it. Why would they invest their time? And so what's interesting and I want you to be conscious about is the best way to know your current frequency or know what you are attracting is to, for a second, don't look within. Don't look at, okay, this is what I look, I look like. This is what I'm doing. This is my mindset. This is what I've been saying recently. I want you to kind of pause and go, who are the people that you've been around lately? Who have you been talking to at the office? You know, let's say you work at a big company and you're on a sales team or you're in the marketing department or you're in the accounting department. Who are you closest with and who do you have the most frequent conversations with? And then I want you to pay attention to their life. Are they living a really happy life? Are they complaining all the time? Are they in a very happy marriage? Or are they just sitting there complaining to you about their marriage every single day? Are they about to get promoted and everyone loves them at work? Or are they the village asshole and nobody really likes them? Because the frequency that we're emitting is attracting something. It's attracting certain experiences, certain people, certain opportunities. And so best way to kind of take the colored ro- or rose colored glasses off is to just look at who you surround yourself with. Next thing that's very interesting is go look on the for you page of both Instagram and TikTok and look at what types of videos are popping up. That is also your frequency. That is also what you've been paying attention to. The algorithm that these social media companies create or Fully, their sole purpose is to get eyeballs. It's to make you want to use the platform more. That's why the algorithm only shows things that you are interested in. So if you notice that if you've been thinking about dogs a lot lately, and every time you see a funny video of a dog or animals or pets or whatever, and you send it to your friends, you notice that your feed is filled with tons of dogs. If you really love reality TV and you love drama, and you like all the clips from on TikTok and on Instagram and on social media of all those different things, do you notice that your For You page is filled with drama? It's filled with things that stimulate your brain. So your For You page is a telltale sign about what frequency you currently have, what you're attracting, and what you're thinking about every single day. And this can take a toll on you quicker than you realize. I at one point stopped and realized that I was following a lot of these people and well, I had nothing against them and I don't think they're bad people. I realized I was really investing a lot of energy into thinking about their lives into like, oh, they just broke up or oh, this famous person's doing this. Or why do they do that? Oh, I don't like this. And I didn't realize I was wasting so much energy worried about things that really added no value. It was a waste of time. And so I said, you know what? I'm just going to either mute or unfollow all of these people that don't make me happier. They don't serve any purpose for, you know, what I'm trying to accomplish in the world. And guys, I kid you not, within a day, I already felt better. Within a week, I just felt like I had all this extra energy because I didn't realize how much time I wasted trying to 
think about what other people are doing in their lives and the problems that they had to maybe justify maybe what I was going through. I didn't realize it. A next telltale sign, along with obviously your friends and your, your algorithm on social media, is how do people respond to you that don't know you and also don't need you? This is interesting. And for some of you guys, this might make you feel a little uncomfortable and you may feel a little pushback. I learned this from one of my first mentors, one of the first jobs I ever had. And he said, the world is a reflection of you. So if everywhere you go, people are in a rush and they're all over the place, you likely are too. If you move to a city and it's like every person you talk to is just in a bad mood and just doesn't like living there, it's probably a reflection of you. Have you ever noticed when you get really good news or you just hung out with just one of your best friends that's so po positive and happy, it's like you go to the coffee shop and the barista is just the nicest lady ever. Or you're on the freeway and you're like, oh, I got to take an exit here. And usually someone would cut you off and not let you in. And then suddenly they just scoot out, they wave, and you say thank you, and they let you right in. It's like all these things just start happening. People say, hey, you look great today. Where did you get that jacket from? Where did you get that dress from? Why? You're attracting that type of energy. So one thing that I do every day to police myself, and I don't want you to think that this is some like crazy thing that I think about all the time, but it's just something I suddenly pay attention to, is if I'm driving around and people are honking and flipping the bird at me and I go to the restaurant and they're a little rude, I'll kind of take a second and go, how am I feeling right now? And I'll notice that I was kind of irritated and bothered about something at work or something that someone said, or I didn't really get enough sleep last night and I was kind of stressed or worried about this one thing. And when I combine all the feelings and emotions that I had, which creates the frequency, the way that people were acting towards me makes sense because I was subconsciously without even realizing it, Attracting people with similar frequencies and, and similar vibes and similar personalities. So if I experience that, not in a judgmental way, I'll kind of sit back and go, huh, this is in a way my fault. And I don't feel bad about it, but it gives me kind of the freedom and the peace to go, this is great because I can change it in probably a minute. So I'll take a deep breath and I'll just simply think about all the things I'm grateful for. My parents, my friends, my family, you know, living in such a beautiful place. You know, let's say it's sunny outside. Like, man, it's beautiful outside. I'm healthy. I can breathe. I'm athletic. I'm fit. It just list all of the things you're just so grateful for. And when you're in a state of abundance, watch how many great things just start happening to you. And maybe you're like, well, you know, Grant, that's easy to say. You know, I just lost this loved one. I just had this health scare. I just had this situation happen at my work and I got laid off. And I hear you. You know, I'm going through things just like you guys are. I just don't talk about them. But you still have the opportunity to choose how you view it. So instead, if you're going through something challenging, go, man, this is going to be the biggest blessing ever. I can't wait to see how much I grow out of this. I can't wait to hear the story about how I not only came back from this, but it helped me help so many more people that I work with, that I'm friends with. And it turned out to be the most incredible thing ever. Like, man, yeah, I'm just so thankful. I have my legs that I can walk, that I can work out, that I can breathe, that I'm healthy. Like whatever it is, I want you to find the positive way to look at it. And for no reason, I want you to affirm things that are going to happen. One thing, I was on the phone with my mom earlier today, and I said, man, mom, I just have a feeling this is going to be the best year that we've ever had. So many good things are just going to happen to you, to the family, my brother, you know, my dad, just everything. So many good things. She's like, I think so too. Actually, I know so. I'm like, it's going to be amazing. You know, we should go here at the end of the year. We should try to do this. I think you're going to do it. We just start saying so much positive things. It was interesting because I was in a group chat and there's all these entrepreneurs and someone came in there and I don't know, maybe they were just having a bad day and they just said some really negative stuff and just took a shot at someone. 
it was like it just kind of killed the whole group chat it was very somber and i was like man that's bad and i said you know what like instead of me picking sides and saying no don't do this i said you know what i'm just gonna put some positive energy out and later that day someone posted that they just they're a lawyer and they have this big law firm. They said, guys, I have just amazing news. And, and you could tell he did not see the rest of the chat because he was just so hyped. He won this case. And he won this $8 million verdict. It's badass. He goes, guys, just amazing news. I just did this. And everyone was congratulating them. And one thing that I posted in there, I just said, hey, guys, anyone that if y'all have a win, even if it's small or if it's the biggest thing ever, don't feel like you're bragging. Please post it here annoyingly because that energy is contagious and I love hearing when you guys win because it motivates me to do better. Next thing you know, like 15, 20 people like the message and I get on the group chat on, on WhatsApp the next day and someone's like, hey, I just closed the biggest deal in my company's history. Hey, I just sold this company. Hey, I just did this amazing deal. Hey, this video that I posted just went viral. And it was like all of this positive energy just influx the entire group chat. And I don't know how much better of a life, you know, it made those people that were in that same group chat. But I can tell you for me, like, I just felt better. You know, I'd like to tell you guys that I'm this invincible person, but I'm not. Everyone has feelings and emotions. And hearing all of those positive things made me go, man, like, I can do this. Like, this guy just did that. Damn, he's only five years older than me. Imagine what I can do. It started changing my thinking. So create a habit of being thankful and abundant in every state that you're in. And I want you to pay attention and watch the people that start coming across your life that suddenly out of the out of the blue reach out and go, hey, how have you been? I've been wanting to catch up. Hey, we should grab lunch. Or when you're at dinner, the person goes, hey, I like your jacket. Oh, what do you do? And then suddenly y'all become friends or you end up working together or networking or just creating a really good relationship. So I'm going to give you these three simple things and I'm going to kind of walk you guys through a little bit potentially about, you know, things I've done. Um, and I want you to do this into your life. So the next 30 days, you can have incredible people in your life. All right. One, recreate yourself into the person that it takes to attract the people that you want to surround yourself with. So instead of going, I'm going to go find all these better people, screw these people I'm friends with. I want you to go, who do I want to attract? And how do I create myself into a version of that person? All right. So, for example, the example I said earlier about in, in a previous episode earlier that I had a friend that had never really been into fitness that at the time, you know, had gained a little bit of weight and wasn't in a good part of their life and joined a running club. And while I was struggling, ended up meeting this incredible community ended up getting promoted at their work and ended up doing this huge deal, got more fit, was happier, did all these different things. He was like, look, I'm going to become the person that's going to attract these incredible people. And that's what happened to his life. So if you want to be around really successful people in business, I want you to start focus on grooming and creating yourself into a person that can actually make that your life into that, therefore attracting other people work out, study, you're listening to podcasts like this, it's going to make you better. And as you start being successful at whatever you do, let's say you become the top sales rep, I guarantee some of the other people that either want to be successful, or already are successful, are going to say, Hey, like, man, we should grab lunch, you've been killing it. I'd love to hear what's working for you. Let's say that, you know, you put on a little few a few pounds and you want to get more fit. Commit for the next four weeks to working out three to six times a week. And then suddenly just post some few pictures and meet people when you're out. Talk to people at the gym. And I guarantee people who are also more fit, more athletic, more positive are probably going to start coming into your aura. You're going to start noticing them. You're going to start talking to them. You're going to start becoming friends with them. This just happens without us realizing it. Let's say you've been through a lot and it's been challenging the past year. I want you to make a commitment to never say something negative out loud ever again. And for every pot or negative thought that you have, say 10 positive things until your ears feel like they're going to fall off. And watch how you start attracting more positive people. Two is look at your current life 
And I want you to identify all the people who aren't the types of individuals that you want to surround yourself with. I posted this on, on Twitter and threads and Facebook and everything. I said, avoid people who spend their conversations only talking about others. Very small minded people do that. They're gossipers. And one thing that's interesting that people forget is that while they're talking about someone else to you, what's going to happen when you leave that room? They're going to likely start talking about you. So be around people that talk about ideas and exciting and motivated and fun things. It will rub off onto you and it will be a reflection of your life's work and the people that you surround yourself with. Cut these people out. You have to be willing to be lonely for a season to attract and to actually find ways to spend time with people who are quality human beings. And you're not going to attract those people until you actually remove the wrong people that are actually blocking the right people and the right energy and the right opportunities from coming into your life. Okay. Number three, after two weeks of time where you've pulled yourself away from the world, you started meditating, you started reading the right things, you cleared up your social media and you stopped following the wrong people, you started working on yourself, I want you to try to just show love by showing love. Hey, you look great today. Hey, I love your, uh, I love your dress. Hey, congratulations, man. I've seen you've been killing it at work. Amazing job. We should just grab lunch sometime soon. I'd love to catch up. I want you to connect or show love to, at a minimum, two to three people a week. And as you feel more and more comfortable and as everything kind of starts snowballing, maybe one to two people a day. Tell them congratulations, connect with them, ask how they're doing, send them some flowers, maybe send them some note, do something that's meaningful and watch what starts to happen. The snowball effect of all the incredible people that will start coming into your life will blow your mind. Guys, you will look back three to six months from now and go, damn, no wonder I was so stressed all the time. No wonder I wasn't getting the opportunities that I wanted to in life. And no matter where you live, you're going to be like, man, my life is so much better because I'm around incredible people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, you can find me on all my social media channels at Grant Mitt. And hope to see you guys for episode 81. Talk to you guys soon.